We have Jeremy May from Ramsey Media. Jeremy, welcome to Sense Per Mile. Hey, thanks for having me. It's excited to have you. Uh, you know, you've made some switches recently. You, you know, you want to tell us a little bit about what drove you to leave the carrier side to go to the vendor side at Ramsey Media? Yeah, I mean, I don't know that I had a drive to make the change, but I, I did get a phone call that initiated it, you know. Um, um, so you got drafted. I did, yeah. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the change. You know, I think, um, you know, it was hard. It was an emotional thing, I, you know. Um, I worked with some folks for 15 years at a team that, you know, we moved mountains together, you know, um, and so it was hard to leave. Um, you know, I deeply cared about them and those, you know, uh, those tears come easy when you have that, that care. And you guys know that cause y'all are, mm -hmm. y'all are real, you know, did the same thing. Yeah. yeah. It was hard. You know, that was, that was challenging, you know, what to just tell them, you know, I was going to be accepting, you know, some new challenges, but, um, you know, the other side of that coin was that there was opportunities, um, you know, um, in the industry to work with Ramsey and, you know, I'm able to, to, to do what I love every day, you know, help, helping our clients. And, and, uh, that is just, uh, it's a very rewarding, um, thing that I've been able to, to take in that change. Yeah. I mean, you and I, we've had some awesome conversations and the one thing I'll say in our conversations is how genuine those conversations are. You genuinely believe and act upon what you say in yeah. every regard that win the encounter we've had. Yeah. So making that switch, I mean, knowing that that's how our relationship's been built, yeah. making that switch, I'm guessing you had to feel that when they called you. I mean, you obviously didn't just say, oh, I don't believe anything this person's saying. I'm I'm going over here. No, you. Yeah, no, it was it was hard. I mean, I you know, I was open to the conversation. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, there's there was no, no harm, no foul there, but, um, you know, it was, it was, it was hard. I know, I know at one point, you know, Garrett's who reached out to me. So Garrett Ramsey and a great guy. And, yeah. And we had conversations and I think there was a point where they made an offer and I, you know, we, we just, we, we kept that conversation going. Cause I still had a lot of questions, you know, because it was, <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't blame we, that at we, all. We, we, I scheduled an unscheduled interview again. Um, but you know, I mean, that was the beginning of our relationship. No. You know, we didn't have a relationship prior to that. Um, and so, um, Relationships matter, you know, that yeah. just do it, it, every aspect, yeah, yeah. you know. That's been a common thread discussion for us. So, you know, you, you're you now at Ramsey. What value with your experience coming from the carrier side do you think you bring to the table for Ramsey Media and their commitment to their clients? Yeah, a fair question. You know, well, I think first I should state, you know, Ramsey's been around for 20 years and they've had a commitment to, to client service and, and, uh, and, and uh, retention for long before me. So I don't want to and say that I've given anything there. They they were they were well established in that space. But I think that you know the role that I've filled that that was a new position. Um, you know that that role allowed us to take those long term relationships and just have deeper, more strategic conversations. Um, and so I think that that was very additive to what what they've been known for for twenty years. And uh, so I think there was a there was a good complementary role there with just my experience and my skill set. You know, and I think the that those two married together, what it, what it actually, you know, what it equates to, I think is that the, that the contacts that we work within those businesses, you know, they, they've brought us in to be a part of their team, you know, so I, and we, we really consider ourselves an embedded function of their team. And I think that, that that commitment to service, what it's ultimately done is put, um, us in a position to help them have job stability and career advancement within their, within their fleets, you know, and, uh, you know, if, they, if that latter part's not true, if they're not having that stability and advancement, then I, you know, I would tell you that, that I've personally failed those individuals. Um, and I've certainly let Ramsey Media Works down, you know. If you were to advise a carrier right now, whether in this market they should be pulling their budget, holding their budget, increasing their budget, what would be your number one piece of advice so they can make the right decision? Yeah. Well, I, th I think using the word advising, kind of a lowball question for me, because that's a lot of what I do, right? I mean, it's that strategic, you know, um, approach. So I think a lot of times the context of budget cuts, it's a, it's a very surface level conversation. Um, if we're cutting budget, sometimes I would consider it very reactive. Um, and so that's, I'm listening, I'm listening when those questions are coming to me from an actual carrier, but you know, from our clients, the ones that we've been working with, we have those relationships, you know, that that's not often the question because really what you're really trying to understand what's their long-term goal, what's their strategies, right? And so 
yes, the, 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 the pricing in the freight market soft, there's still a lot of freight moving, um, but the rates are certainly down and that's revenue. Of I mean, down, 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 the absolute down, but we're in a new barrel. We are, but, but I think that that's where, you know, my job, the very nature of my job is not to be worried about, you know, today it's making sure that you know, in a year and two years down the road that we're in a good position. And I'm not saying we Ramsey, I'm talking about our clients. We no. were in that with them and, and they have those goals. And so while the trucking is cyclical, we all know that, but if, and if have, it's not, we got way bigger problems. <laughs> but I think, you know, the question I would have to ask to answer that for any one person, because there's not a one size fits all. No. What are your, you know, are you content where you're at right now? Do you have a need? Do you, you know, are you looking to, um, you know, are you looking to grow your fleet or, you know, how's your brand? What's your culture look like? Where There's places that they can still invest. It may not be via uh, us, but again, uh, you know, we're looking at what's their strong, their long-term um, um, plan. And and so, you know, this is the opportunity when it's not chaos, right? There was yeah. the COVID, COVID, you know, chaos kicked in. And so I think, you know, people maybe, you know, let some um, things creep into their operations or they, they were just kind of drinking from a fire hose. And so this is the time you know, that it, it, because it's cyclical, we'll just call this the eye of the storm, right? I mean, yeah. there's, there's another rise coming. And I think what we've got to do is make sure that when it comes, we're at the front, right? So are our recruiters trained? You know, do we have video assets that we can use to build our brand? Those are things that we can be doing right now because it is real. Well, and because it's slow, right? So, and I'm not picking on here, but right. I mean, there if they're go. spending less then then the supply and demand's off on, on, mm-hmm. on the video production side. And so you're able to maybe do a little bit more work or have a little bit more time to, to even put even a, a higher quality video together. And so, and when those assets are ready, when those, when those recruiters have been at a 10 street to be trained and learning tools and learning efficiencies, that fleet's in a better position. Yeah. It, so when it comes to the budget, that's, that's a small piece of it. Let's make sure that, that our customers are, are prepared to win because when this thing ticks up, I want to be the front horse. Right. Yeah. And what I mean, I think there's a lot to be said about that too, because a lot of people, you know, they're like, oh, it's down or trucks are full. You know, the same thing like with uh, with, with advertising, uh, you know, for, for drivers, because there's so many companies out there, right? Uh, there's a million companies and, and drivers get bothered by all of them all of the time, <laughs> whether they want to or not. So, um, it, but at the same time, like there, there's, there is a lot to be said yeah. about that, about being front of mind when things do pick up. So if, if your trucks are full, you know, or it's cheaper to not run trucks because of how low freight is right now. It, it's better to at least just reinvest to become front of mind, whether, you know, not even necessarily video or yeah. improving your recruiters. Well, and I think that, you know, in, in our world, inside the walls of Rams Media Works, when somebody says our fleet's full, that's a celebratory moment. Yep. That is, that is what it should we were, be. That's what we were hired to do. Your success is through their success, and that's the right way to do business. That's the b- beneficial way long term to look at a relationship with any client or any person in general is how do I do something that's going to further them, and through their success, we are successful. You know, if someone wanted to reach out to Ramsey Media or yourself, what would be the way they would be able to do this? Man, well, obviously they know you guys and ping it out, but I mean, I'm, I'm on LinkedIn. That's probably the easiest way. I mean, I you know, I... I'd be glad to share my personal email and phone number and all those things. But I would say let's connect because it's, it's about the community, you know, yeah. and it, it's about the drivers, right? Yeah, They're absolutely. The community that, that we live for and, and we uh, we go to work hard every day to make sure that uh, that they're finding the right right, right yep. of carriers and right jobs and careers so they can have those relationships with their families just like, you know, we, we're afforded. So.